Hey guys, hope you're enjoying your holidays. This is the first in a series of short QGIS tips and tricks videos that will be listed in a separate playlist but will also contribute to the line of education. It will go through the steps needed to upload Basemap services links to your QGIS sessions. Why do we need to have access to the online map services? Well, the answer is very simple. To add value to our maps, sometimes even to add data to our maps in data poor situation where you don't have anything else. There are two main methods of adding online base map services to your QGIS. The first is through Quick Map Services plugin, and the second is through the XYZ tile map services. In this video, we are going to explain both methods. First, I would like to draw your attention to the fact that your QGIS installation comes already equipped with a World Countries Boundaries base map in GeoPackage format, and that you can load that instantly by writing the word world in the coordinates box in the status bar. So you just go there and write world and here we go. So that's the first base map that you can have instantly. And it's not online, it's built in in your system. In versions prior to version 3, QGIS used to have a plugin called Open Layers, and that was very popular. The first method is Quick Map Services plugin, which replaces basically the Open Layers plugin. So you start by clicking on the plugins menu item, you go to Manage and Install Plugins, and you type quick and here you go this is quick map services click on it and you install plugin and that's it the plugin adds two buttons to the manage layers toolbar the first button when i click on it i get a list of all the available map services obviously the most important one is google uh, it does have few layers here so i can Click on the satellite and let me grab some bookmarks. I have some user bookmarks here. Arc de Triomphe in France. So here is Arc de Triomphe. Yeah, so that was Google Satellite. There's one thing that you really need to take care of. At the beginning, you need to start by clicking on settings and go to more services and click get contributed back after that you'll be good to go otherwise you won't get all these items the next method is using the xyz tile map services when you get your your qgis installation you actually get something called xyz tiles here and on the, underneath you have open street map. When you click on it, you get the map of the world. And again, if we go to Arc de Triomphe, you see how detailed it is. Let's just go back. You can actually add a new connection by, by right-clicking XYZ tiles and clicking new connection and adding a link. The links can be obtained from qms.nextgis.com. You have uh, basically a map catalog, map services catalog, and you have hundreds of, of links. Yeah, actually, 1,843. Let's see. We, we need only the tile map services. So if we click on them, actually, you have much less. 764. You have 764 map services. And you have a, a basically a signal light system. So you have green, uh, red, and yellow, which denotes whether this link is working or not. So you can go through these links and you have 77 pages of links. Some of them might be interesting. So you can just click search here 
and you can look for something that is not there. For example, the Bing map service is not, we haven't seen the Bing map service. So let, let me check the Bing aerial. So this one shows a red light, which means it's not working, but let's try. So I'm going to take this link here and copy it, and go back to my dialog box. I'm going to place the URL and then I'm going to call it Bing Arial and click OK. And let's see if it works. So it added the Bing Arial. I'm going to drag it here and it works. And again, let's go to Arc de Triomphe. And it's working perfectly. Instead of loading each link separately, Class Carlson prepared a Python script that you can load into your Python editor and run. You will have all the major services. I have actually modified or updated that script by adding some additional links. Uh, I'm going to leave a copy of that script in the description, but let me show you how. So first off, let's go to the script. So this is the script. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, click Control A to select all the script. And then I'm going to go to Plugins, Python Console. And I'm going to start an editor window. And I'm going to paste that code. The script actually is implementing what we just did, but just in a in a more automated way. So each line adds a new connection. I'm going to click play. And here you go. You see instantly, uh, as I said, I have added some additional links to what class has added. Okay, so let's try these. I'm going to close this window. And I'm going to go to layers. I'm going to remove everything. Okay. So I'm going to go to the browser. Let's start Esri. Try Esri. And let's go to layers. Actually, let's go to Arc de Triomphe. Again. Okay. You can actually. Let's try another one and then let's see if there is Esri transportation. That was basically the second method. I just want to draw your attention to another item is that they all come in um, Google Pseudo Mercator uh, projection or coordinate system. Uh, you might want to change them to whatever your current project is working on. Okay, so thank you for watching and see you next time.